Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the D-Rich Show, where we talk anything and everything crypto. Now, here's your host, D-Rich. Hey everybody, welcome back to the D-Rich Show. This is D-Rich and today is May 17th, 2021. Happy Monday, guys. Um, I apologize for the um, mono sound. Um, I come back into the um, studio area of my office and um, I totally forgot that I unplugged some things and um, discombobulated my area and my network and kind of got it all messed up. Um, so I apologize up front. So uh, we're going to make do with what we can do. Um, I previously uh, recorded the video um, a while ago and come to find out when I'm rendering um, there's no um, there's no um, sound. So um, what I did was try to go fix everything and um, lo and behold um, wasn't able to do so. So um, I got back onto some of my older equipment so it sucks. I know it does. Um, so I apologize up front. But anyway, guys, um, we don't want to waste too much time on negative energy. Um, I hope that this video finds you guys all in good health, good spirits, and good energy. Um, I don't want to take away from anything uh, or from anyone. So I hope that you are able to have a wonderful weekend and you were able to do something fun, new, and exciting. Um, and again, I did get things done around here, um, around the house and got some well needed rest um, but you know sometimes when you do things and undo things and try to put them back together um, it just doesn't work out but anyway um, also I just wanted to uh, thank you for the subscribers over the weekend that came on board for the journey and for those who have been here I appreciate you as well so um, that's always going to be an acknowledgement on my behalf Bitcoin right now is taking a little hit at 44,157. Um, uh, the dominance is at 40.2% and Ethereum is at 18.9. Ethereum is trading at $33,000 and 3380, 3381. Binance coin 517. Um, overall, almost down 5% in the last 24 hours. And Cardano is bouncing back at 208. And Dogecoin is still um, in the 49, 47, 49 to 50 cent range. So, guys, if you guys uh, sold your packages and uh, expected that it was going to continue to dip, um, I hope that you didn't do so. Um, I'm still holding on to me a large portion of my Do Dogecoin, and I think that we're going to continue to ride it up. Anyway, um, beloved XRP is um, up 11.6% in the last 24 hours, guys, and it is moving the market at the moment. So we are trying to get some uh, dominance there. Uh, we'll be catching up to Dogecoin and Cardano very shortly. Don't you worry about that. Uh, Polkadot is uh, at 39.92. And ICP, again, as I thought um, last week when I looked at the chart, when it was initially um, placed on Coinbase, that the chart would continue to go down. That's what it looked like to me. And lo and behold, it surely did. Bitcoin Cash is at 1087, uh, down almost, uh, uh, you know, two percent in the last 24 hours, and you can see uh, the market trying to come back to life a little bit um, after some sell-offs and um, you know some weak hands, if you want to call it that. Okay, you got that Poly, gone. That Matic is at a dollar 75, up almost 19 percent there. Okay, you got Theta bouncing back over the 10 dollar range. And uh, you got Ave, Sheena, Inu, things like that. You kind of see where the market is. And if you are able to um, get into the market um, at these low prices, I would say that you should do so. Um, this is not financial advice. And this is, uh, I am not a financial advisor. I just kind of throw out my ideas out there and see where um, they go. And hopefully um, it allows us to capitalize on gains um, and things like that. So anyway, guys, this is going to be a different type of video um, as far as um, information where I think we're headed with some of the Elon Musk news and some of the other news um, related to the Stellar Network and um, trying to put the pieces to the puzzle together. 
Um, and that's what we do here on this channel. We, we try to connect dots. We try to see uh, parallels and, and um, anomalies that are consistent with being uh, mathematically impossible. So anyway, um, this is coming from Tech Times, Car Tech, Tesla Secret Project, Palladium. Coming soon, rumors for Model S and Model X 2021 spark a new with EU price hike. So guys, I always look for keywords um, here in this thing here. I'm looking at Palladium and then I'm also looking at Spark as we know. Um, this was dated November 25th, 2020. Um, so the reason why I'm just bringing this article up, it has nothing really to do with anything. Um, it really has to do with my um, you know, backhanded research on Elon Musk and some of the things that he's brought about. And um, the word palladium stuck out to me. And um, I'm starting to see um, some things that are consistent with this. This is from Chalice Gold Mines Make Nickel Palladium Discovery at Jellamar. And this was April 15th, uh, 2020. All right. So um, Chalice Gold Mines has confirmed a significant nickel palladium discovery and has been made as its large Jellamar project northeast of Perth, Western Australia. So guys, um, Palladium, I do believe, will be uh, something that will um, black, uh, back precious uh, back cryptocurrencies um, of some sort. I, I can't speculate which one. Um, we have um, IOTA, I believe, will probably be like an Iridium um, of some sort. And then you also have like um, XRP, Gold, Stellar Silver. Um, I believe XDC will be uh, copper. You know, don't quote me on this, guys. Um, that's just my speculation um, as far as um, the eye can see. So um, I try to, you know, look at it from a different perspective when it comes to ISO 222 um, and their regulations and specifications for uh, digital currency or digital assets to move money across borders. So anyway, let's go to this next one. Um, what, let's see, did we get to this one? The stockhead palladium supply is drying up. Um, these Aussie stocks could open the floodgates. So this is coming from stockhead as well. Um, platinum groups, PGMs, platinum, palladium, rhodium, iridium, ruthenium, and osmium are highly valued for their wide range of industrial medical and electronic supplies. So guys, we're, guys, we're talking about medical. Uh, we're talking about electronics. We're also talking about um, these different um, precious metals and what they provide for different type of things. 80% of palladium goes into auto catalysts and car exhaust um, to reduce polluting emissions. And there is also future demand from the nascent hydrogen sector. Okay. Um, why? Nine straight years of ever enlarging deficits. The gap between uh, mine supply and consumption in 2020 alone was about 1 million ounces of um, palladium. So um, just connecting the dots here, let's move forward. And this is also coming from uh, Chalice hits high grade nickel, copper, and PGEs with first drill hole at Gillimar. This was um, before the original article that I read from Chalice, March 23rd, March 23rd 2020. And um, again, you've heard me talk about copper um, on this channel. Um, as well. So um, I believe Australia is a, um, a, ma a major player in um, precious metals, palladium and possibly copper um, as well as nickel. So keep an eye on those type of things, guys. I want to lead you guys down that road. So you guys are seeing um, what these folks are doing, um, how it might apply to um, energy, green energy, um, efficient energy um, when it comes to uh, medical um, and things like that. So um, keep an eye on those things, guys. Why don't you? Um, anyway, guys, I wanted to move forward with uh, Wood Trade, or excuse me, Wu Trade. Um, asset number 30 on the Wu Trade network is um, Stellar Org, which is XLM. Traders will now have the deepest liquidity on our 20 plus connected institution. So that's Wu Trade there. And let's go ahead and look at their network real quick. Um, it will disrupt markets and empower um, individuals, zero commissions, deep liquidity, and a DeFi bridge. So, go, guys, I'm going to leave their website to you guys for you guys to woo-woo-woo um, over here. 
Okay. So go ahead and check that out. Enterprise B2B, which is business to business, evolution beyond aggregation, superior liquidity, intuitive interface, revenue share, cloud exchange, uh, you name it. So go ahead and check their website out. And um, I'm going to do some more investigation and trying to uh, set me up a little platform um, here. So anyway, guys, moving forward, this is a um, statement from Donald J. Trump, 45th president of the United States, which was uh, Five five sixteen twenty one. 21 um, It's not really um, the statement that he made. I just wanted to point out some things that I did notice within the statement. And maybe it's a reach, um, but, you know, there's always room to uh, speculate and um, go down a rabbit hole if you, if you want to call it that. Breaking news. New polling by CBS News on the state of the Republican Party, which is very strong. Keyword, strong, right? Uh, President Trump has a strong hold, okay, stronghold on the GOP, and we'll leave it at that. I won't go any further um, into the statement um, that was made. Uh, you can read it. It'll be here, um, but stronghold is one of the key words that I want to um, go through because we've talked about stronghold on the channel when it comes to being part of the Stellar Network, um, and I wanted to go over this. So that we could kind of see if um, on the right trail um, to see where we might uh, go. Um, sometimes I might be reading into the, some things, um, but that's okay. Um, Stronghold SHX overview, which is this um, slideshow right here, is from August 2020. Disclaimer um, This document provides general information about Stronghold Anchor Limited. And nothing in the document should be construed as solicitation of an offer to buy any asset or other investment products or services and nothing published by Stronghold Anchor Limited or any of its subsidiaries should be interpreted as investment advice. And again, I always say this is um, never investment advice from this channel, um, but we tried to um, follow the uh, trail um, to get on to um, some good advice from these people putting out. Um, necessary information for us to go over um, strongholds mission stronghold provides financial technology infrastructure and payment capabilities to un, um, underserved industries and markets with unique needs that require customized comprehensive payments and currency solutions and you can go ahead and look at the stronghold team um, a team of payments fintech and alternative ledgering experts you got Sean Bennett, CTO and co-founder. You got Stellar. You got XRP. You also got Tammy Camp, CEO and co-founder. You got um, Stellar um, that they work with. And um, you got some strategic investors and advisors. Square, um, SoFi. I believe SoFi is like um, housing or something like that are some type of um, out here I think in California I do think there's uh, something with that um, I might be mistaken it might be some other thing that I'm thinking of anyway um, major investors um, you take a look at them you got more information insurance um, regulatory information as well you got token allocation and you got uh, the token networks and um, SH8 is available on both the stellar network and ethereum as an ERC 20 token and we did this to enable cross ledger value transfers using SHX as well as make interacting with SHX easier to developers or for developers and traders on multiple doc, uh, blockchains and moving forward guys this is coming from coinlore.com uh, and um, I wanted to um, let you know that uh, stronghold token is trading at three cents um, it's up 261%. So if you guys have um, held on or purchased you some um, Stronghold token, um, I commend you for holding it on because uh, we're going to go on to another level, I believe. And I wanted to scroll down here because there are some things that I wanted to talk about um, when it comes to um, XRP and um, XLM. Let me see. Okay. Here we go. And there's another one that I wanted to talk to you about as well shortly thereafter, which is the reg, reg to, um, tech done right. And then we're going to connect some other dots with that. 
So let's go over this real quick. Um, this was dated 1-3-2019. Uh, uh, the truth behind XLM and XRP markets on Stronghold and how does Stronghold decide which markets to support. And this week there's been a lot of discussion about how Stronghold changed the number of markets that are supported on our exchange and platform APIs. As co-founder and CTO, let me give you an inside scoop on how we think and what to focus on. Excuse me, we break our markets into two tiers to make it easier to determine what we should support. Stronghold USD pairs and top digital asset pairs. Tier 1 markets. Our Tier 1 markets contain every asset we fully support paired against Stronghold USD and our asset backed US dollar token. This ties in strongly with our payments infrastructure as the overwhelming majority of the settlement we allow for is sent on this with Stronghold USD and that gives them six markets. Uh, Bitcoin USD, Ethereum USD, Litecoin USD, SHX USD, and XLM and XRP USD. So that's tier one. And as you can see, all three follow, fall under um, tier one. And then you got tier two markets. And let's go look at that tier two market. You got Ethereum, Litecoin, and XRP. And as you can see, XRP does not move out of either tier and um, I believe that um, that is a good sign for XRP because it can go into tier one or tier two and the stronghold anchor. Some of uh, some of us are wondering what this means for stronghold assets anchored on Stellar. There will be no changes um, uh, that have been made and they continue to anchor USD, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and XRP on the Stellar network. Stronghold um, will be listing new assets. And they have added new assets in the last two to three months, including the retail release of this stronghold USD and support for cryptocurrencies, Litecoin and XRP. And XRP is the newest addition and has been available for, for deposit and withdrawal since mid-February. And in conclusion, that's all there is to say. We made the decision solely by looking at what we want to focus on, not by thinking about which markets we should be taking down. Okay, so there you go, guys. You got it from, from there, and we wanted to go over here. Um, hopefully, I oh I didn't I clicked out of that. Okay, sorry. Anyway, guys, Reg Tech done right. I wanted to go over here real quick, and this is um, back in 2019, uh, 5 two. 2019 Stronghold launches the first hybrid trading platform with a regulatory frame work and decentralized settlement so the reason why i wanted to go over this because um i know a lot of us on twitter or wherever um, you've seen the sparkle before right so if you follow um mr pool um you've seen him post a sparkle um i'm not sure if this is where he got it from um but you know sometimes you kind of look at clues um and you see things and you want to go and look at mr pool's post if you can find someone with that all right that's all i wanted to go on to um on this article but you could go ahead and read it um there's a bunch of different articles on stronghold um here that may be um you know a couple years ago or whatnot but you kind of do some more investigation on stronghold to see if it's something that uh you want to put into your portfolio so you got i mean i mean you kind of look at it um at on your own terms okay um, so let's move forward with some more Stronghold news. This is coming from dot stronghold.co exclusive for IBM worldwide participants. Stronghold USD is a digital dollar with instant settlement solution for real time payments. And I'm pretty sure we've heard that um, statement before real time payments safer than cash. Stronghold USD provides instant US dollar settlement for IBM worldwide network participants with regulatory technology, 24 seven transparency and known participants and instant transactions. Okay. And, um, stronghold and IBM have been collaborating together on the stronghold us dollar, which is a stable coin that has been introduced into IBM's worldwide network. This particular technology is disruptive because it enables us to get payments to people in the middle of nowhere effectively in seconds. 
So, guys, you just kind of understand where we're going. We talked about um, Starlink. We talked about um, these different networks, these different ecosystems, um, and things like that. So, um, kind of get prepared, kind of get your mind wrapped around it, um, that things will drastically change, especially with um, power outages, glitches, hacks, um, and things like that. Um, but, you know, I think that if we have systems go down, um, we will come back on to a blockchain network um, where everything is decentralized and um, ready to go. Um, so we're getting close to um, that point because the narrative is actually increasing uh, when it comes to this type of stuff. So anyway, guys, um, stronghold clearing and settlement in seconds and then not in days, as we know. So what I wanted to go over um, real quick, uh, fast, it's fast, reliable and secure faster payments lower costs certainly off time um, and regulatory technology so guys when we have um, institutions within within institutions you know you know getting partnerships and uh, things like that the regulatory uh, clarity I believe follows um, and and there's not too much more um, that needs to be said there's just an integration phase um, where you know they they merge um, and kind of do what they need to do to become interoperable with one another. Visibility and analytics, analytics in real time. And um, you are providing payments for everyone. And uh, moving down here, I wanted to make sure that we are following uh, what's going on with Stronghold because um, there, there's some things that we can um, learn from Stronghold when it comes to XRP, Ripple. Um, the flare network and the ecosystem that they're building um, because this comment and statement right here says it all Stronghold are a delight to deal with highly efficient Security conscious and very professional they work with us to find really useful solutions to our complex Requirements and guys that's coming from Hugo Filion, which is the flare network CEO So this is why the video is named um Stronghold possibly working with, uh, you know, Stronghold are getting into their ecosystem or partnership. Um, this kind of says it to me and some of the things that Stronghold represents um, is kind of uh, along the lines of what we've been hearing when it comes to um, faster payments, uh, greener, energy efficient type of cryptocurrencies. So, um, you know, again, um, here we are with... Um, some statements made by the president and then we also had um, some other statements made by the CEO from Flare Networks and we got a little bit more information about uh, Stronghold there and before we wrap it up we want to make sure we talk about Flare Network blockchain now has over 15 uh, validators and you can also see their updated list this is coming from you today and we'll get into the article re real quick before we um, end the video and um, while Flare Network's team claims it can achieve energy efficient POW, Flare's um, network of validators is taking shape. And I believe that is possible because we've heard, um, I believe Chris Larson um, hint at it. We've also heard um, um, Brad Garlinghouse hint at, um, you know, it, or even the Flare Networks, excuse me, um, talking about Bitcoin. Um, joining the Flare um, network for more um, energy efficient POW. So um, you can look at the 15 data providers of Flare. Um, you click that link right there as I'll leave it in the description. Flare will introduce proof of work POW 2.0 and the Flare Atlas Oracle Service Spark. Flare token holders has unveiled this extended list of data providers that are going to join the Flare network data validation processes in the mainnet and 15 data providers of flare according to the announcement shared by flare atlas uh, team on twitter the full list of data providers on the much anticipated flare blockchain now comprises of 15 services so guys you can go ahead and do that uh, research go ahead and give them a follow mostly flare specific platforms are mentioned in the list you got flare ftso ftso au FTSO.com, FTSO.dev, um, FTSO EU, um, FTSO Finance, FTSO UK, um, so on and so forth. And also BitTrue Cryptocurrency Exchange, 
that is a pop, um, popular among XRP holders will provide data for the Flare blockchain. Tuo Labs XRP focused developers are on board as well. Flare um, will also introduce the proof of work 2.0, DeFi Oracle's multi platform ecosystem, as well as Scandi Nodes validations dashboards are also included in the list. And meanwhile, amidst a new round of discussions about the environmental footprint of crypto mining triggered by Elon Musk, the Flare Network team has taken to Twitter to clarify their position. And as representative stress that integration with Flare will make proof of work cryptos more energy efficient than ever before. And by press time, Flare integrated two POW based cryptocurrencies, Litecoin and Dogecoins, to the network. So, guys, Flare Network is going to be a huge um, ecosystem. And I believe that they are um, acquiring uh, different type of cryptocurrencies to integrate with and uh, make the um, network grow and be more efficient and more eco-friendly um, when it comes to um, the world of um, decentralized finance. So anyway, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry that it's in monotone and sorry that uh, we um, had to get it out. Um, I don't want to be too late on the video, but I want to get it done um, as fast as possible so that um, you can get the information pass it along on your favorite um, social media platforms and guys I want to make sure that you guys are hitting the like buttons the subscribe button and the um, notification bell and um, if you guys are on rumble thank you if you guys are on um, any of the uh, anchor platforms that um, promote my um, podcast I appreciate it and those who um, listen to me on YouTube thank you so much as well so anyway, guys, I'll be putting out a little video later. Um, it was something that I watched on um, um, HBO Max. Um, a friend put, of mine put me on it and said, hey, uh, put it out to uh, the community. I think that they'll um, enjoy it and, um, you know, come to their own conclusions as far as what they see and what they hear when it comes to um, this particular part um, of a show that is on HBO Max. Anyway, guys, have a great rest of your Monday. Um, continue to um, put your nose in those books and educate yourselves and get um, equipped with more knowledge and more information um, because at the end of the day guys will be the people who will be sharing the um, information with others so that they can understand it especially if you've been in the crypto space for some time um, I hope that you are taking your time to explain crypto to um, your friends your family um, those who might be in need to hear um, a different way financially um, besides what they're used to. So anyway, guys, um, do those things. Share your um, codes so that, you know, it goes both ways so people can learn and earn. And at the same time, you get um, some get back for um, sharing cryptocurrency because it's all upon us to um, also help bring in mass adoption. So um, have a great day, have a great evening, a great night, uh, midday, wherever you may be. Um, if you're in uh, Canada, the United States, um, Australia, France, um, we love you. We take uh, want to make sure that you guys are hearing from us all across the world, United, wherever you guys are. I just want to um, send my love, okay? Anyway, guys, um, have a great rest of your day, and we'll hear from you tomorrow, and hopefully I get all my equipment back up and running. God bless, take care, and as always, treat everyone with class, dignity, and respect. Bye-bye.